Hello guys, it's Gmax from Gmax Studios and today we're back in the beautiful world of Photoshop. If you're new to our channel, please do well to subscribe, do well to comment and um, don't forget like the video and share. Okay, our focus for today is on understanding our mixer brush. Okay, there are different settings when it comes to your mixer brush and a lot of people use different settings and we've got a lot of questions that okay how can i understand my mixer brush settings and what are the right settings i can do to be able to get it right while using my mixer brush for my frequency separation okay i'm going to be breaking down this um all your settings so that you get to know the rules they play to give you the results you should get at the end of the day there are friends out there that have supported this channel by dropping comments each time they see our videos and likes to support us we honor you greatly and we appreciate all you do for us and for this channel and please make it a point of duty that you each time you see our content each time you see our videos please drop a comment drop a, a like because it helps the channel to do better and it helps youtube to be able to push this channel further to more persons so straight to the video i'm just going to pick my mixer brush and i'm using the photoshop 20 20. For those of you that are using either a lower version or a higher version, everything depends on your Photoshop. For me, I would have to come to my move button here and right click on it and I'll see more tools here and I'll pick up my mixer brush. There are many of us that if you right click on your brush tool here, you can see your mixer brush just below here. So I would go to my mixer brush settings and originally, you these are the settings that you get to see be your mixer brush. I'm going to show you how you can tweak these settings to be able to get your desired result each and every time. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my brush settings. Now, my brush settings, I want to use a very soft brush, a soft round brush. So, I will move my hardness all the way to zero so that as I brush, it will blend in. That is the reason why I'm doing that. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this, my color picker here. I don't need um, a... A, to use a color to brush on this because the main purpose of of me using my mixer brush is because I want to blend the colors the way the colors are falling I want to blend them so I will just deactivate this now if this is doubled on if it's active see what happens here at the end of the day you get to see the brush produce a particular color and blend it in but I don't want a strange color out there. I want, I want, I want to blend the colors that are existing on the skin to be able to get the result I want. So I'll just do Ctrl Z, and I'm good to go. Now the next thing I'll do is I will deactivate this. I'll come to my wet. Now we have the wet, we have the load, we have the miss, miss, we have the flow. Now these are your basic for essential when it comes to your mixer brush and i'm going to explain this in detail though i want this video to be as short as possible so stay with me as we go through this okay for your wet your wet talks about how wet your brush is now and i'll take an example it's just like water when you pour a bucket of water when you when you, when you get to a place um slippery or wet it is the amount of water that is being poured now as i brush as i drag my brush i click and drag my brush you get to see the amount of tones that are being moved and the distance it goes just in one stroke now remember that there are different tones on the skin we have our shadows here we have our mid tones and then we also have our highlights and it is not advisable for you to be able to for you to use this high amount of weight because at the end of the day, if you're not careful enough, you will be brushing in your shadows, into your highlights, and your highlights into your mid-tones. So you want to be very, very careful. So for, for that note, I will just do Ctrl Z, and I will show you an example. Once I move my weight all the way to, um, let's say I move it all the way to 2, let's just type 2, see what happens here. In one stroke, the tones move but not as far as when it was at its initial state right so for me for my weight i would use two because i would want my tones to be controlled and then 
My load talks about how much color the brush can take per time. And also my mist. I want to my mist is it helps to mix the colors. Now this mist is very important when it comes to um, when this is uh, active. So if my mist my mix normally my full comb would be I think about um ninety yeah ninety but because I'm going to toggle this off it's not very very important and then my flow my flow talks about the, the intensity of the of the brush this controls the intensity of the brush it's just like your opacity and your flow so if you understand these two basics you should be able to apply this to your frequency separation so your flow talks about the intensity of your brush so if you want your intensity of your brush to be very high you can yeah, in, leave the, the number at 100 but for me i would not want my intensity to be high so for me i will show you my basic settings i use while doing my frequency separation so my weight i leave it at 2 my load i leave it at 40 my my mix i leave it at 40 and my flow at 40. So for me, these are the settings I use to get it right during my frequency separation. Okay, I'll just quickly create my frequency separation layer. Okay, I just finished creating my frequency separation layer. If you want to see how I created my frequency separation layer, please um, just go to our channel. We have tons of videos on how to create your frequency separation and the processes you can follow even before you create your frequency separation. That is um before importing your your image into photoshop what you should do processing your image using your camera roll or your lightroom or your capture one you have tons of videos online that will give you a guide on getting it right and also we also have videos on the next process is for you to do your blemish removal so if you want to check out these videos please just go and check out these videos and it will be of great help to you we believe that okay now i'm just going to quickly show you how my my brush works for me if you want to see a detailed video on frequency separation especially using the mixer brush method you can also check our channel we have tons of videos on frequency separation especially using your mixer brush so i'm just going to quickly brush and you would see how i would use this now Okay, we just want to zoom this in. Sorry, zoom that out. And then I will just brush. Now, like I said, I will not want to make this video too long. Okay, and by the way, um, while I brush, you can just watch and then listen to me. Um, this is a special invite. I'll be hosting a masterclass that comes up on the 29th of this month. 29th of this month by 7 p.m. Nigerian time and 19.00 Central African time. It's going to be a one day free masterclass for everyone, especially if you are struggling with your frequency separation. And it's also going to be open to questions and answer. And we are also giving a bonus to everyone that will be part of that. Part of that class you are going to be giving free loads and actions to be able to help you work faster during your frequency separation and any process you're undergoing okay back to what i'm doing here so i'm actually brushing on the skin now now we want to just toggle this off let me see, let me quickly see where and where I have brushed and where and where I haven't. So just pardon me, I would have to make this a bit faster because I will want this video to be very short. So that at the end of the day, you get to see my focus is 
for you to for you to see how sweet it will look after frequency separation using my settings but if my settings doesn't work for you i just explain what the different points there would do and how it could help you so you can actually try out different brush settings depending on what you're trying to achieve so i'm just just going to quickly brush on the face i might not do the rest of the body part just the face and then i'm just going to show you a before and after of what i was able to achieve so and for those of you that are wondering why i upped my frequency my my high frequency check out my videos i explained in detail why why i would off my high frequency layers to be able to get it right okay yeah, all right we're good to go so let's see this is before this is after before after before and after so i can as well just come here and then blend these tones and turn the cash before and after right all right so this is pretty amazing so we have come to the end of today's tutorial i will drop a link to this particular image for those of us that want to try this image out you can as well just download the image and then try work on it so thank you for watching and if this tutorial was of great help to you please do well to like do well to subscribe and don't forget drop a comment for us if there is a video that you want us to do in future or you want us to do so next please drop a comment and let us know that particular issue you'll be having and we'll try to do something regards that so thank you for watching thank you for for staying tuned i mean your host jimax and jimax videos remain creative